Terrier D-Lab in the shop today we have a new challenge it's a dead PV Classic 30 head let me show you what's going on well, here's the deal I have it on you can see we have the pilot light on which is neon but if you take a look at the output tubes or any of the tubes as a matter of fact they're deader than a doornail stone cold no filaments, no power getting to the rest of the amp. Let's see if we can figure out why. We have our pilot light illuminated. Now this is a neon lamp strapped across the 120 volts coming into the amp. And there it is. 122, right? So that's going into the primary. So if we have voltage into the primary, we should have voltage coming out of the secondaries. This is the filament supply, zero. This is the high voltage, once again, zero. Very bad thing. It's looking like the power transformer is bad. So let's kill the power and ohm that primary. I've unplugged the amplifier. We've switched our meter now over to ohms. I've got it at the 2K ohm scale. Here's the primary the transformer wide open hidden under here that you can't see is the power fuse and the fuse is good that is a 3 amp fuse okay so unfortunately the power transformer primary burned out first protecting the 10 cent fuse one of the Murphy's laws Right, so fortunately for me, I was able to find this replacement power transformer made in Taiwan. What do you expect for the PV Classic 30 amplifier? Okay. The only difference is, is you see these plug-in connectors here, right? They are not present on the new transformer. So I'm going to remove the spade terminals and splice in these two pin connectors so that the amp can still be serviced the way that it was intended. And hopefully the bolt pattern here also lines up with the original. I really don't want to have to do a bunch of driller killing to make this happen. So here's the original power transformer removed with those little pigtail push-on connectors. Here's the new one and they do match right up for mounting which is a good thing. So the next thing I need to do is put these plugs on these leads and then the primary will solder direct where the old one was. So I've J hooked in those little connectors. So we get these guys soldered up. Kind of got a moving target here. Anyway, get these leads soldered up, reinstall the power transformer, and see if she'll power up. So obviously after you do your connections, I'll put a little bit of heat shrink on there, because we don't want things to short out. Hit it with the old gun. Ready to go. All right, we're all wired in. The two yellows are filament. The two reds are the high voltage. The brown and white wires here are not used because that was the 220 winding of the power transformer. So I used the blue and black just like the original. It's time to fire it up. Okay, here we go, initial test. Power's on. Do we have filaments? Yes, we do. So now, let's put on a scope, make sure the amp's working, but I bet you it is. Now here we go, typical D-Lab setup, dummy load, got an audio generator up there, 
the old Watsu SS5702 oscilloscope. We're looking at the output off the amp. I'm going to kill lights. Not all of them, but some of them. Here we go. Here we got. Oh, look at there. Got all kinds of output. Looks good. Nice and clean. So the new power transformer did the trick. I'm very happy with that purchase. So the PV Classic 30 is running cool as a cucumber. New power transformer. It's working great. There's the old one. Now I purchased this transformer from a company called Full Compass off of Reverb.com. I was a little bit leery at first because I didn't know what I was going to get, but it was pretty much plug and play as you can see. So I'd highly recommend it, especially if you have a dead PV. Easy solution. Hope this is good for you. See you again.